Welcome in to the fourth draft. I'm your host, Aaron Trafford. And yes, we're doing it again. We're eavesdropping on our Monday morning meeting with Team Story Studio Network. And while I asked the question, is podcasting on the rise? Because that's what we talked about. You and I talked about in the last episode. So I posed the question to the team. What it turned into was this meandering and pointed all at once meandering and pointed conversation about the cult of celebrity podcasts. Are they a good thing? Are they a bad thing? What can we learn from them? Do people actually listen to them with a cult like following? And is there any value in comparing ourselves to them? I'm going to go out on a limb and say no. I will never compare myself to Jason Bateman. I do these eavesdrops because I want you to feel this groundswell, even just on our team of excitement, thought, consideration in the future of digital media and podcasting. So in this episode, you're going to hear from our managing producer, Dave Trafford, our business team, Troy Lutz and Jamie Nickerson. You're going to hear from producers, Becky Coles and Jen Hudson and audio engineer, Mike Trutler, also strategist, Andrea Palacio. I hope you enjoy being a fly on the wall. Is podcasting on the rise? Is that still true? Yes, sure it is. And I think it's it's because I run into people all the time still to this day who, you know, they know what you do, Aaron. They know what Becky does. They know what Mike does from radio. They all understand our backgrounds, but there's still a curiosity about this podcasting thing. Mm -hmm. And I would think that the radio listener would be the one who was maybe not most likely, but the, the one you would expect to most easily um, make that transition and be in engaged by the idea of podcast audio on demand, deeper stories, storytelling, all that kind of thing. <clears throat> so I think that um, there's probably that, that's a loaded question because you know, yes, based, it is. And right, that's based, why I asked it. Right. Based on what we do and what our our history is, I think, yes, the answer is yes, unequivocally. If you're talking about celebrity podcasts, yeah, I I, I don't know anybody who listens specifically and, and shouts from the rooftops about the celebrity podcast they listen to. Now, Mike you know, Trutler is like, mean? wait a minute, smart list. <laughs> Well, there's that one. I mean, I also drew, I don't know if he listens to Smartless, but him and I both also are fans of Conan O'Brien needs a friend. I mean, it's not just because they're celebrities, it's the particulars of who they are. But I do think it's interesting that there's other people emerging. Like, you know, I started hearing ads at one point, like, oh, Jamie Lee Curtis has a podcast now. Sure. Why not? Obama and Springsteen did one. Sure. Why not? Oh, there's a scripted sci-fi one with Oscar Isaac and Julianne Moore coming out. Sure. Why not? All these big names that you would never have thought would have gotten into this are getting into it now. So in that way, it is also on the rise as well. I have to say one of my favorite podcasts that I've listened to so far this year is Julia Louis-Dreyfus's Wiser Than Me. I've been listening to that too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great. It's fabulous. Absolutely. And for me, and I pointed this out after the first episode, because the first episode, um, she's interviewing, I'm pretty sure it was Jane Fonda, and she had technical difficulties. There was a storm. It shut off her hydro, the whole thing. So her guest is has no idea this is going on. So she's continuing to talk and talk and talk and talk. In the meantime, it's still recording on Julia's side. She doesn't know this. So like she's freaking out, like freaking out. And she's like, oh my God. And she's swearing and the whole thing. And instead of pulling all of that out during production, she stops and explains the situation and leaves it in. And I was like, I think it's so much better for it because it, it, you know, you can listen to it and you can hear how you could have cut that out and we would never have known. And it was actually so much better for it. And it happened again at a later episode. Um, something else had kind of, you know, screwed up or whatever. And again, she comes back and it says, okay, you know what, this, this happens. And so this is what we did. And it was magnificent. So apparently I do know people who shout from the rooftops <laughs> of celebrity podcasts. Well, that one is so good. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. But you know, here's what, and I think and I say it's a loaded question because is it on the rise? Um, and, and immediately, you know, the, the big thinkers in this field want to start talking about the ad dollars that are attached to this or the actual revenue that it generates and those sorts of things. Um, and I only think that that's, that's just part of it, you know, in terms of where, where we're at. Um, the whole notion, for example, that I think the broadcasters are still missing is the opportunity to use the personalities and the content and the subject matter that they are so good at and touch an audience that does not hear them on the radio, right? They, they, I, I think they're missing an opportunity there. And it's not because they're stupid. <laughs> it's because they don't fully appreciate what is it that the podcast can do in their ecosystem. So in that respect, I think it's on the rise. <clears throat> I, I spent, you know, the morning um, doing a, um, a listening and, 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 and a stats analytics audit of some of our shows in North Bay, and I'm going to tell you, based on that, it's on the rise in North Bay for sure. I was just looking at those stats. I ac actually was in another stat and I accidentally clicked through and I sat there and I looked at those and I was like, holy crap. Yeah. And so here's here's on the rise. I had a LinkedIn comment the other day. I can't remember. Sometime on the weekend when I was on the couch under a blanket with a hot cup of tea. That was my entire weekend looking at LinkedIn. And Somebody had mentioned about, it was something about Saturday Night Live and how Saturday Night Live in its current form, or, you know, I can't really remember, I'm probably going to misquote this, but anyway, there were like 4 million people tune in every Saturday night to watch SNL. And yet that show generates millions in revenue, right? And the post was about how now all these late night hosts were talking about, you know, Conan O'Brien and Jimmy Kimmel and all these guys have a really um, specific YouTube strategy now. Right. And so then their YouTube channels, there are some people who only watch that stuff on YouTube. And we were just out for pizza with my in-laws. They're in their late seventies. They've started watching Stephen Colbert on YouTube. <laughs> like that's not the target demo, but the point being, that 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 over the air television audience for SNL is still what's making millions and millions of dollars. The YouTube is like the gravy. And I think of it when it comes to podcasting and radio, it's a similar but inverse relationship where the radio audience isn't growing and they're not selling a CPM. So it's a big, broad audience that's going to be the base of their revenue, but that the podcast audience is this like smaller targeted audience that's actually worth way more. So it's really interesting to see how these conversations are starting to develop. And if you look at it in the context of YouTube, it you feels like podcasts aren't rising, but then if you look at it in terms of the revenue potential, it is. And I realize I asked a loaded question that I can't fully answer myself. So, well, you let know, let me take it a step further because <laughs> yes, it's about the money, and yes, it's about the the you know that that level of engagement with the audience. Here's what I thought was really interesting, particularly against the backdrop of the big guys like Apple and Spotify. Okay, because you know yeah. YouTube, yeah, Apple, yeah. Spotify. When I would drill down on some of the numbers behind some of the North Bay shows, the number one source for these shows is the local website. People mm -hmm. are going to that website because they look at it. I'm thinking, I'm maybe I'm drawing up, you know, too much of an assumption here, but it seems to me that the North Bayites are interested in it because it's local media. They're looking at it that way. They're consuming it that way. They are by far the largest uh, geolocated audience. Doesn't matter what mm. platform it is. Mm -hmm. So there's something to be said there, it, and and there's an appetite for it. So if you were just to take the Apple numbers, you might say, "Well, pfft, that's not very important." But when you looked at it in the whole picture here, mm -hmm. oh, that's really interesting. The numbers are not only good; they are locally rich. And I think that's kind of, to your point, Aaron, that's kind of where the broadcasters are are a little blind on that kind of stuff. Any parting thoughts before we jump into our production meeting, which I feel like we just had because I didn't, I hadn't analyzed the stats that deep. <laughs> <laughs> News to me. Well, I mean, it's certainly, it's starting to prove your assumption, right? 
that there was this sort of void of media for for these communities and that these communities want it they miss it and they want it so it's i think it's validating andrea i can see you thinking about this you're like i don't know how to answer i feel like we should <laughs> train on this. yeah i mean i can i can see it in different ways the first one being the rising of the amount of podcasts. I mean, right now there are 5 million podcasts out there, but that doesn't mean they are all active, right? So I think like right now we are like similar or from where we were like 10, 15 years ago with YouTube. So if you were thinking about starting a YouTube channel 15 years ago, knowing what you know now, you will definitely say, I'll start a YouTube channel and I have a shot of becoming, I don't know, to to this to become something else. And I would say we are on that stage with podcasting. And on the other hand, um, particularly with branded content, with branded podcasts, uh, we're seeing from all the stats that are coming out, how the idea of putting an ad inside of a podcast it's becoming more and more a uh, part of the conversation of the marketing revenues in companies and why because it's actually working it's actually um um well working because the numbers say, say that and because people are really engaged with podcasts it creates community it creates connection because you have it in your ear. Like it's a very intimate conversation. So I'm thinking a lot of things. <laughs> I'm like, mic drop. <laughs> Podcasting. It just works. <laughs> kind of a difference between that and like a talk show. Cause like the host of a talk show on TV, they're not doing all the ads themselves, but a podcast, it's the host that is actually doing it. So you get an insight into what kinds of companies or products they're actually willing to endorse. And then a lot of the time they might even speak about their personal experiences with them, which, you know, could be true, could be just, oh, we'll script this out. It sounds like I use it. But regardless, it's like they probably don't hate it if they're actually willing to put their voice behind it and their brand as well. All right. So what do you think? A lot to unpack there, right? Might have been my fault for dropping that extremely loaded question <laughs> into the meeting while folks were still having their coffee. There's just so much there. Celebrity, endorsements, what do we like? What do we expect? I'm telling you, this podcast space is rich with things to talk about. So I want to know what you think. Drop me a comment over on Instagram or over on LinkedIn or email me at hello at storystudionetwork.com. And do not forget to rate and review the fourth draft wherever you get your podcasts and check the show notes for more resources because that new one did just drop. Until next time. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>